In this video, we will be answering the question on the screen from the 2022 Ordinary Level Maths Exam, Paper 1. If you are looking for any other questions from this paper, there will be a link in the description to a playlist that will have them all. And this is question three, and it's all about taxes. I know a lot of students find these questions very hard. Some find them very easy. And I think the difference is practice. The questions look very similar every year. If you just go through, pick one day, pick a few days in a row, weekend, find the last five years of uh, questions, do them. Go through the solutions, watch videos like this, practice, practice, they all look similar. Uh, unfortunately, you can't memorize exactly how to do them because they're different enough. But really, the basic rules are quite simple. And guess what? A lot of you probably have jobs. A lot of you will be going into jobs soon. You're going to pay taxes. People are going to try and rip you off. Your boss is going to rip you off. They're going to make mistakes. It's handy to know this sort of thing. Okay, let's jump into it. Question A is, well, first of all, they give us lots of information. Uh, tax credits, everyone's tax credits are 3,300. Uh, these numbers change depending on whether you have kids, where you live, different things. Uh, but all these three people have tax credits of 3,300. So we work out someone's tax and then we take this number away from it. Um, the first 35,300 everyone earns is gonna get taxed at 20% balance. That means everything else. The rest is gonna be taxed at 40%. So part A asks us about Joe. He, he earns 27,500 gross. Again, you'd need to remember what gross and net means. A bit of practice, a bit of study, you will get this. Not so hard to get, I promise. Um, a bit of study, you will get this. Gross is 27,500. Now they also tell you he doesn't earn the high tax rate or he only pays the lower tax rate. Well, we know that, they didn't have to tell us that. 27,500 is less than 35,000. So he's only paying 20%. So how do we work out his net? So this is gross before tax. Let's work out after tax. Let's work out how much tax he pays. So he earns 27,500. And we're just gonna go ahead and multiply that by, by 20%. Do this in your calculator. Uh, and we get, oh, let me check my solutions here. Save me doing maths in my head. We get 5,500. That's how much tax he owes, but wait, he has tax credits. So we go ahead and take 3,300 away from that and we get 2,200. That's how much tax he pays. Don't leave this as your answer. They didn't ask you for how much tax he gets paid how much tax he pays. They ask you how much his net wage was. His before tax was 27,500. He pays this tax, so 27,500 minus 2,200 is equal to 25,300. That's our answer, that's his net pay. They, he thought he was getting paid this much, he's actually only getting paid this much after tax. Okay, part B is very similar to part A. Again, they give us his, her, her gross, in this case, Emil. Um, her gross income is 43,450. Uh, what is her net? Okay, identical to the first one then, except something's gonna change in the middle. She starts off with this, she gets paid this much money. Yeah, let's write it again up here. Four, three, four, five, oh. But, the world doesn't work as simple as this. It splits everything in tax at least into two brackets. Everything before 35,300 and everything after. So let's split her money in two. Before 35,300 and after. Well, what is 43,000 minus 35,000? Um, we get 8,150. Put this on a calculator, remember. So that's her two, her two um, sums of money. She, you can think of it, instead of getting paid this, you can think of her getting paid this much and this much. This is gonna be taxed at 20%. This is gonna be taxed at 40%. So we can work out she, how much tax she owes on this one. Uh, that will be 7,060. 
how much tax she owes on this. This number multiplied by 40% will give us a 3,260. This is how much tax she has to pay. She has to pay this and this. Let's put it together. Um, add these together, we get 10,320. So that's how much tax she owes. But again, wait, tax credits. She also has them, so we'll take that away. 3,300, take that away. And we're left with 7,020. That's the total tax she has to pay. She got paid this amount and she had to pay 7,000 and uh, yeah, 7,020. If we take that away, we get 36,430. That's how much uh, she gets paid. She thought she was getting paid 43,000, but she had to pay taxes. And she actually only got paid 30, uh, 36,430. Okay, on to part C. And I have to say, part C is pretty hard. Um, I'd say, I'd say, I haven't looked at the stats, but I'm guessing a lot of students fail to get this question right. It's 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 not overly difficult maths wise, but it's just it's tricky. It's it's a little problem solving question. So let me read it out. Way has a gross annual income over thirty five thousand three hundred. That's good. So we know he gets paid more than that. We oh, I've rubbed out uh, the parts. We know. Anything he earns over that amount, any extra amount of money he earns, which the question's about extra money, any extra money, he's going to pay 40%. That's, that's good information. Um, Wei is looking for a pay rise. She wants a, a net income, her net income, so after tax, she wants after tax to increase 80 euro a month. So first thing we actually need to do is turn 80 a month into how much in one year, and that is uh, uh, 80 times 12. I was trying to do it in my head, but I'll read my notes. That is 960. She wants this much of a pay rise after tax. So there's a good few ways to do this. Um, after tax, after paying 40%, she wants this amount. So. How I would do it, I'll show you a couple of ways to do it, but how I would do it is, I like to think in algebra. I like to think, we, there's a number we don't know. How much you get paid? And that's X. And then we're gonna take away the tax. Well, we we, we've seen how to work out tax. We get 40% of how much gets paid. Well, that's 0 0.4, that's 40%, by the way, multiplied by X. And this has to equal, so how much she gets paid minus the tax equals her net income. So that's, that's how I would do this question. We'll go ahead and solve this. Uh, I'll do it quickly because I'll show you another way. Um, multiply everything by 10 to make this look ni nicer. 10x minus 4x, so multiply that by 10, we get 4x, is equal to 9,600. At 6x here is equal to um, 9,600. Divide both sides by six and we get 1,600. So if she wants to take home 960 extra, she needs to ask for a pay rise of 1,600. Now, how else could you do this? Um, you could just realize that your net income is 60% of your money because they take 40% away. So this is 60% of the, the, the full number you want. So they've taken 40% away from this. She wants the after tax. So this is 60% left. So you could say something like a 60%. I this is not minus. I like to put a line here. 60% is equivalent to 960. What's 100%? And this comes up in maths all the time, so it's a useful way to do it. Um, to change this into 100, well, I like to change it to 1 first. So 1%, divide everything by 60. Uh, this number divided by 60 is, I don't have it written down, unfortunately, so I think it's 16, is 1%. And then get to 100%, that's easy. Multiply by 100, that's 1, 6, oh, of course it was 16, sure, right. Could have done that in my head, I think. 
So that's another way to get it. Um, another way would be just to start guessing. You know the number should be bigger than this because she has to pay tax. Um, so you could guess maybe 2,000 as the answer and then check. Guess it's 2,000, just like the previous two questions. Find your tax and you'll find, oh no, it's too much. 2,000 was too big of a number. Uh, you could guess 1,500 and you do the question and you go, oh no, that's, that's too small. It's close though, so maybe you'd guess 1700 or 1600 and you'd get there eventually. It's not a great way to do, it, do the question because if the answer was, was something like uh, 16 and 21.7, you're never gonna guess that number. Uh, but still, it's, you'd get lots of marks. It was a really difficult question. If you, if you came here because you couldn't do it, you're not alone and um, if you still don't know how to do it, I'm sorry, it's a really hard question to teach you how to do. That's how I would do it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope um, this video helped you in any of those questions and have a great day.